So I, uh, uh, I was born in Mexico and I came to the U.S. when I was 15. Um, I, I was an undocumented student then uh, and I went to high school here in um, St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> and, um, and I remember um, I dropped out of high school um, at some point and I went back um, and um, and I think, uh, sort of going back to this question about citizenship and belonging and all of that, um, to me it was really hard to be in school and having people telling me like um, that I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that and and so I dropped out of high school like, well, why should I stay in school if I'm going to be able to get the same job I can get in 10th grade, right? Uh, and I think that was the case for a lot of other students too. Um, and then I went back to school and, and that's I think when I was like, you know, I, um, I, I, I don't want to work at a restaurant for the rest of my life. Uh, and I actually like school and, and, I, and I, you know, and I was doing well before I dropped out. Um, and so I think from there, I, I, I was very committed to going to college uh, and graduating from high school. And so I, I looked for help from different places. Um, and because I learned that I couldn't do things alone. And so if I wanted to achieve something, I needed to do it with other people, and so I found uh, like College Possible, former admission possible, um, and uh, I got a lot of help in sort of learning about college and things like that. You know, no one in my family had ever gone to college or graduated from high school, and so the fact that I was going to graduate from high school was a, a big deal in my family and for me. And but I was able to go to Oxford College and. Um, you know, when I was at Augsburg, I, uh, I was very active in, in the student campus and I was very active also outside. Um, and I was lucky enough to um, not have to work uh, to pay for my tuition and all that. And so that allowed me to do a lot of other things. Um, and so I had an internship every semester uh, somewhere and and that was really valuable because I was able to build a network of people uh, who supported me and cared about me and um, uh, you know and I was in the student government uh, for a long time because again you know I you know people for a long time had been telling telling me like you can't do this you can't do that and so I, I, I almost took this uh, rebellious approach like watch me do it and so I a lot of times I found myself in places, you know, people told me I, I couldn't be in and, uh, and sort of being able to prove people wrong um, was uh, uh, kind of fun, but it was also really tiring because it was a lot of work <laughs> and I was constantly, you know, trying to prove people wrong. And, and then one of the things I learned was um, through mentors and, and connections was that I remember someone who was uh, my mentor and, you know, and she was really great and we'll, you know, meet every month and talk and things like that. And that was really um, helpful because I never had that. Um, and, and, and one of the things I remember she told me was that um, I was telling her, like, I always feel like I'm, I'm trying to prove people wrong and, and, and like, it, and I get tired, like it's always constant all the time. Uh, and then she said, why don't you try doing things you want to do? <laughs> like, uh, actually do things because you want to do, not because you feel you have to do them. Um, and that was really important to me because then I was like, you know what? I actually really like student government and I'm not doing it because I'm proving people wrong. I mean, I was. But, but I actually really enjoyed it. And so I, so even, so I, I changed my, my approach to things and, and, you know, and then I, I, I felt happier and I felt more comfortable about things I was doing. Um, 
and you know, and I ended up uh, getting elected a student body president on campus. You know, the first undocumented student <laughs> in Minnesota to do it, and and it was like, uh, you know, proving people wrong in in some way. But it was also something I wanted to do, and and, and that I was excited about. Um, and you know, now I work at the Citizens League, and I was able to get involved in Citizens League as a student here on campus uh, when Citizens League was doing a study on immigrant students in higher ed. And I was able to contribute to the study and then actually see some of the recommendations we had as students part of the study and actually moving them forward. And you know, this year only uh, or alone in 2003, we were able to pass the Minnesota Dream Act which was a, a huge victory because we've been trying for a long time. Um, but now I was doing it as part of my job <laughs> and I was getting paid for it uh, to go out and, you know, and, and talk to legislators and talk to students and talk to families and all that. And that w that's, I think, is really rewarding to, um, uh, to be in a place where uh, you feel like you're contributing and, and where you feel challenged and all of that. And, and that was my experience here at Augsburg too. Uh, and that's my experience at Citizens League. And, um, and now,